Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. Don't touch me, dude. Don't put your hands on me. Trust me, if they knew I was, if they knew who I thought I was. We're, we're gonna tag you, ma'am. We'll tag you. The thing we've done tonight is on video. I'll take everything off. I don't want you to take everything off. I'm the perfect example of what you get, what you, you, you can't expect something, you can't expect respect if you don't give it first. I'll let, I'll let you go and I'll be out of my way. What's up, bro? Bro, you here? bro, leave me alone, bro. You bro, leave me you alone, bro. Bro, leave me alone, bro. You you are going to find out the hardest way you know. Okay. And you're going to lose your job. Okay. And you're going to be invested okay. by the FBI. Okay. Okay. Very good. <laughs> you're acting like a tyrant yourself. Yeah, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't be a tyrant. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Do, do you know the First Amendment? You know the First Amendment? I do. Can you state it? Yep, you're on the right. No. Why are you lying? I need to inspect government records regardless of physical form or characteristics. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Glad you could make it. I've had real issues getting this video to upload. Some type of uh, copyright restrictions or something. I'm not sure what. But if it makes it this time successfully, I'm glad because this is the incident that I had in mind when I wanted to do this three-part series on Karen's calling 911. Because this is the granddaddy. This is the one that is disturbing. So listen to the um, dispatch. I'm not going to interrupt until after it gets uh, to the incident just shortly thereafter. There's two body cam uh, videos, so you get a different perspective. Uh, fairly lengthy, so I want to keep my dialogue short. appreciate you being here. Give me some love. Give me a comment. Uh, subscribe all that good stuff okay here we go pay close attention to what this caller tells the um, 911 operator because you'll understand why these cops roll into this scene hot and I mean they roll in hot all right let's get on with it Hi, yes, I'm at 1050 West Morse Boulevard, Winter Park Event Center. I have a very erate, um, drunk guest. He has no shirt on. He's on the outside of the building. He's trying to beat people up. He's yelling. He's okay, very okay. drunk. Hey, no, you're, you're, yeah. you're giving me way too much. You're at 1050 West Morris at the Winter Park Event Center. There's an intoxicated guest there. Is that correct? Yes, he's being violent. Is he white, black, Hispanic? He's white, maybe Hispanic. Um, he has a black, white beater on. Okay, black tattoos. Hands. Tattoos, anything else? Sorry, uh, black pants and a black shirt. Sorry, was you out? Okay, and where at the facility is he? So, um, on the side by the dumpsters, it is the, um, East side, the east side of the building, right by the lake. The east side of the building by the lake. Yes, yes. He's starting to to shove people's heads and um, beat people up. So, kind of so he's shoving people's heads and starting to try to hit them. Yes, his older ladies and stuff. Yeah. Okay, has he brandished or mentioned any weapons? No. Can you still see him? Yes. What's he doing now? He's grabbing an older woman and, and shoving her. Is he with this party? Does he have a weapon? No. Oh. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, it's getting bad. So they're, they're just saying for me to move away because people are making him mad. Anybody of authority is making him angry. Okay. Is anyone injured? Uh, possibly. Yeah, they, he, he's grabbing people's necks and like it's an older woman. I think it's his mom. Two people he puts in the floor. Okay. He's, okay. He's, okay. He's, okay. He's our brother. 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 He's Step back, Sam. Step back. You touched my sister. Hey, you touched my sister. That's us. That's us. Oh, 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 oh,
this you know we have a family member we all have one of them that gets a little too intoxicated at a wedding reception or reunion or what have you and they get a little uh, a little spun and, and a little out of control and uh, you try to get them calmed down and stuff now fortunately I know all about this I'm Irish and uh, so you know my family I mean if there is a any kind of a physical altercation it happens it's over with but for the most part they take a nap and then they start drinking again so that's the way it works in my family they get drunk take a nap and then start drinking again and um, but anyway we've all witnessed this before we've all we we, we know that uh, when you're intoxicated everything's a lot more volatile and uh, it's a shame but it is what it is that was a big old boy I honestly believe he was clueless to the fact that why there were even police there I, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if he didn't think they weren't security and should he have cold cocked one no no absolutely not did he deserve to expire over it no absolutely not it was just handled wrong from the get-go um, but then again they came in hot they came in hot because the information they had was he was beating up old people and I mean just ridiculous some of the things that were relayed on that 911 call that's the person that ought to be held responsible that person right there uh, because I do know as time went on they reviewed the uh, the uh, security video and stuff at the, at the, uh, at the location and, and those things didn't happen I mean you had a you had a drunk family member maybe he was sloppy maybe he was falling around and maybe he knocked a couple people over or something but is that a place for law enforcement to step in they rented this facility um yeah i i don't know i uh, no answers i i just know that things weren't handled right and this is one of the worst 911 calls that i have found on the internet and there's a lot of bad ones out there the first episode i did was pretty bad this was worse because the result was so so disturbing anyway all right i'm going to play this um other uh body cam footage and um you'll see that um there's some things that should have happened that didn't happen uh number one being getting the officer removed the part of the shots get him the hell out of that scene there's no all all it was doing was brewing tempers all right let's get back Where's he at? Where's he at? He's, he's okay. He's okay. He's our brother. He's our brother. Man, that bitch ain't got nothing to do with me. It's his first wedding. Back up. Back up. It's his back first up. wedding. It's his back first up. wedding. Back up. Shut up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Move out of the way. 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 Man, move out of the way. Move out of the way. Move out of the way. Come here for a second. Come here for a second. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Don't you smack my motherfucking sister. Danny. 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 Back up. 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on.
I'm all right. I'm all right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Up, no, I'm all right. No, no, no. Let me stay here. Let me stay here. All right. You good? No, I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm all right. Man. I'm all right. Sit, sit, sit. Get some water. Huh? Need some water? No, I'm all right. Okay. Let me get a napkin, man. Give me a napkin. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Get a call. No, 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 no. I'm all right. I'm all right. All right. Make a call, man. Get back up here. No, back up. It's coming. I gotta stay with y'all, man. I'm taking you to the hospital. Oh, shit, man. Let them All check right. you. Oh, damn. All right, all right. I'm taking him to the hospital. I'm taking him to the hospital. Start shot somebody. Go up to my little coffee shop. You okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm alright. Alright, so. You sure? Yeah. I'm just taking him just in case. Have you been hit by anything? Sorry, the, said dude, the dude, The dude hit me, man. Hit you with something. He, he, he punched me out, man. He punched me out. Okay. No, no, no. You're going in the front. You need to make sure he's okay. I know that I'm working. Alright. I'm just going to run around. Run, 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 can you breathe? Yeah, I can breathe, man. Okay, just be a little dizzy, right? Yeah. You're going to be okay, dizzy. though. Yeah. No. Okay. okay. No, no. All go, right. go, go, go. Hurry up. We'll get there. Fuck. Get your feet in. Get your feet in. Oh, fuck. Get your feet in. Hey, hey, we gotta stay no, here, no, bro. No, 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 get your f in, bro. Seriously, bro. You don't know what happened. We gotta stay here, man. Seriously, no, 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 please. No, 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 no. Please, 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 please. No, no, we Fred, gotta stay Sarge here, said, man. Sarge said we're good to take you to the hospital. We gotta stay here, bro, please. Were you, were you shot? No, I wasn't shot. How do you know that? Did you or hear a bang? No, no, he yeah, punched okay. me out. The dude punched me out. He, he knocked me out. Okay. He knocked me out. Oh shit, can man. Can you breathe? Yeah, I can breathe. Does it hurt breathe. anywhere? Nah, just my head. Just your head. Where mm. did he hit you? He punched me in the face. In the face. Let me, look, look. Let me get a flashlight. Go ahead. Shit. There's someone give me an update. Ah, damn. We got a whole breathing. <sighs> okay, so we know there's one sergeant on the scene for sure. He just showed up. Um, I'm going to cut some of this out and move forward a little bit because there's a few things that are going down that I want to point out that I thought uh, uh, was creating a problem that didn't need to be because I don't know what their procedure is at this department, but it's pretty standard policy that once an officer discharges his weapon, especially under these circumstances is that he is disarmed generally the badge or identification taken and he's removed from the scene uh, take him for debriefing so on and so forth but get him out of the scene especially this scene and I'll jump forward and show you why Thank, 
thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, sir. I didn't know what was going on. I thank know you were a little bit. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. take your time. Yeah, thank you. Sure you don't want something to no, I'm, I'm all right. Yeah, I'm okay. He's all right. He hit me too. He, 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 yeah, yeah, he got he, he knocked me out. He knocked me out. He knocked you out. Yeah, he knocked me out, man. You need to go away. You go away. Hey, hey, no, no, no. Listen, sir, sir. Come on, come on, come on. Go away. You tell me what to do. We don't need another. Okay, well, you take your time. I am. I'm trying. Come on, what are you locking me up for? What are you locking me up for? Sir, come over here and talk to me. Come over here and talk to me. No, what is he locking me up for? Relax, 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 relax. Because he's a no, 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 stop, stop, please, 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 thank you. I, I, I came to thank you for helping me, all right? I came to thank you for helping me, because you did. Thank you, thank you. What are you, thank you. Locking thank me you. up? No, 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 relax, relax, Listen, relax, you know relax. Why is he confronting him? I don't know, he's I don't gone, know. He's over here talking to you. Right now, where's the ambulance at? They the ambulance is coming, the ambulance is coming. Come is. Ambulance is coming. Come it's coming, it's coming, all right? All right? When are they coming? CC. When are they coming? Go in. Relax. Do me a favor. I will. We, we, ju we just gonna we just gonna get the ambulance to come down here, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm just dazed. That's all. I'm good. I'm good. What you wanna do, man? Come on. Go ahead and do it. Stop. Stop. Anything Stop. Please. happens from this point on, please, please. Your please, man did this. Please, please, sir. Please, sir. Your, your man. Please, your man escalated please, this. Right? Please, 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 please. Go ahead and do what you wanna do. I'll take please, a walk. Please. I gotta take a walk. Why? Please, sir. Why? I gotta take a walk. Please. I gotta take a walk. Why? Please, sir. Please, sir. Why? Please. Thank you. Come on. Why? Why? I gotta take a walk. Please, sir. Please, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please, sir. Please. Sir, I'm not. I'm going to spray. You all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Are you in taste? I did taste. 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 I Everything's cool, bro. You see, you came, you just came to me like that. Honestly, get your fucking man. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. Nah, Everything's cool. Nah, it, it ain't cool. No, 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 no. But you know what? You cool. know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. It ain't cool. Me and you've been get, okay. Me and you've been okay. Uh, uh, you, get your you man, know, though, bro. You, why you think I'm over here talking to you? Get your man. You came and helped me. All right. Okay. One of the issues that I have with this scene. The cop that fired the shots is still on the scene. You have an entire wedding party that um, most of them just witnessed a family member and a friend expire. And a couple of these guys are not happy about that and a couple of times the cop even challenges the citizen what you gonna do what you gonna do come on go ahead you do it it's sarcastic uh, just totally totally uncalled for should have never been on the scene Soon as the brass showed up, should have identified the shooter, should have got him out of the scene, you know, remove it. You take his service revolver away, take his identification, you, you, you send him back to the station for debriefing. Should not be on the scene. They weren't that shorthanded. I mean, they had three or four or five people uh, trying to resuscitate the victim. And that's another thing. They call him a suspect every time they refer to him. Uh, when was he ever a suspect to anything except maybe on the initial call? He's a victim. He's, he's now a victim. So, as you can probably tell, this really bothers me. I just see so many things that aren't good. And it's a it's a sad day when there's loss of life, but when there's loss of life, and it absolutely could have been and should have been prevented. Another one of my pet peeves with law enforcement, and please everybody, <laughs> some some people know this that know me. I am not anti-law enforcement and I wouldn't say that I'm a diehard back to the blue but I have experienced years ago in this and 
I I have the utmost respect for anybody that does what they do right. If they do it right, I I respect that. There's so many things done wrong here. And it all starts with that 911 caller. And if you watch this video, any time from here on out you watch a video and you listen to 911 callers, listen to them. I don't think I've ever heard one, and I know that's exaggeration, they're, they're out there, but a large percentage of them, there's always some type of an embellishment or something said to uh, try to get a better response out of law enforcement. I mean, the video, I did the, uh, the first one the first video at the uh, manufacturing plant. Look at the extremes that that caller went to to try to get response out there. And the opposite of this, this guy wasn't armed. The other guy wasn't armed, but they said he was armed. I mean, it just, so much of it starts with the information that these cops receive going into the unknown. They don't know. Every When they say every call is different, it's true. Every call is different. You just don't know what's going to happen. Somebody going to pop up out of the shadows. Or, you know, what, what? you just don't know. So, I don't want to play any more of this because, honestly, I've watched it and heard it enough. It upsets me. I mean, it literally gets me distraught so if it affects me that way I, I don't want to affect anybody else that way and matter of fact I've left that video in um, I, I'm going to go back and cut uh, a little more out of it just so it's just not so uh, intense alright now I'm going to drop a hopefully drop a news clip in here last time I tried to do it it had some type of copyright thing on it. It messed up in the upload. Um, I'm going to try it. If, the up, if it messes the upload up, I may leave it anyway because the audio will be there. Um, but the reason I want to put the news clip in, it's, it's post-incident, and it reflects a little bit about the nuances of the call, the 911 call and stuff. So... Love you guys. Appreciate you. Help my channel out the best you can. I really do appreciate it a whole bunch. And um, I want to get this thing completed and then move on to uh, maybe doing some, some uh, funny DUI videos. Anyway, love you guys. Help me out. I'm going to finish this up with a news clip. Until next time, I'm Prodder the Ram. And I'll be gone. A wedding reception nightmare. A family speaking out for the very first time and painting a vivid picture of the tragedy. I watched them unload their gun on my brother's chest. Boom, 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 boom. Now that family is demanding answers. And that is our top story tonight. The bride says her wedding dress is now soaked in her uncle's blood. The whole family traumatized. Daniel Knight was shot by Winter Park police during the wedding reception. They say he attacked the guest and officers, but his family accuses police of spreading lies. Fox 35's Valerie Boyd joins us live tonight after attending their news conference this afternoon. Valerie. Hey there. Well, Daniel Knight's family says they really want the truth to come out. They also want the officers involved criminally charged. He was killed in front of me. His blood was all over my wedding dress. And I had to stay there for hours with this on my dress. 
Janisha Paul is devastated after her uncle, Daniel Knight, was shot and killed by a Winter Park police officer at her wedding reception. We were laughing, we were drinking. This is what a wedding is supposed to be about. It was this 911 call that police received from someone at the Winter Park Event Center. He's grabbing people's necks and like it's an older woman. I think it's his mom. However, Knight's mother, Patricia Keeby, says her son never hurt her. When I told him I couldn't stand up anymore, he just put his arm around me and sat me down on a chair. He didn't touch, he didn't, I have nothing, no bru bruises, no scratches, nothing on me. I'm like, he doesn't have any weapons. Knight's sister Trina says she told officers he was unarmed and shortly after that. I watched them unload their gun on my brother's chest. Boom, 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 boom. But police say Knight knocked an officer unconscious and started punching another officer. That officer then used his taser, and when he didn't stop, he shot and killed him. However, people at the wedding say it didn't happen like that. After he was tased, he stumbled, and the officer went around the corner. He was not on top of the officer. I even asked the other officer if he was okay. He said, I'm fine. And the Winter Park Police Chief says she has no additional comments to make. However, the officers' body cams were working and uh, they have sent them to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Meanwhile, the family has asked the Department of Justice step, to step in and they're also in the process of hiring attorney Benjamin Crump. Live in Lakeland, Valerie Boy, Fox 35 News.